Moving on now, it is the financial capital of India, a city which is the fuel in the government's engine, be it at the state or at the central level. However, for decades now, Mumbaikers have felt shortchanged over the city's infrastructural challenges, especially public transport. And it seems that some cheer is in store for the residents with the new Mumbai Metro line. Here's a report by my colleague Srishti. Mumbai, the city of dreams and aspirations, a city that gives all those that come here with the dream. A chance to fulfill their dreams, it is truly the city that never sleeps. The city has been long demanding better connectivity and have patiently borne the brunt of infra upgrade at the cost of struggling with crippling jam. The city's lifeline, Mumbai local itself, is struggling to keep pace with surge in commuters over the past couple of decades. However, all that is set to change with the ambitious Metro Line 3 project. One such ambitious project is Metro Line 3 and its Aqua Line. Right now, where I'm present is 25 meters under the ground and at this particular tunnel, wherein the construction work has been completed of tunnels and track. This particular project and its phase one will be from RA to BKC and phase two will be from BKC to Kolaba. You can see in the visuals, the work of tunnels is completed and the work of tracks is also completed. Metro is actually very important. You can see that the people who live in Mumbai and the people who have been here for a long time, they are convenient. But if you want to see that the people who have been here for a long time, they are very active in Mumbai. You will know how many people in the peak cars are crowded. So they will get a car from RSA and BKC. They are kind of working for a lot of people. Then they will get a lot of people from RSA and BKC. Then they will get a lot of people from RSA and BKC. Then they will get a lot of people from RSA and BKC. Then they will get a lot of people. Aqua line is all set, is what we are coming to know. The trials are going on, uh, the work is almost 90% completed. What do you want to tell about it? What were the challenges while, uh, what were the challenges you faced while uh, making this process happen? As you know, this is a fully underground uh, metro corridor of almost 33.5 kilometer uh, length and passing through very congested areas and neighborhood of Mumbai. So building this kind of fully underground tunnel and underground stations in Mumbai was absolutely challenging, especially in terms of availability of land, rehabilitation of uh, uh, the uh, people from the government land as well as from uh, private land parcels, then getting all approvals because it needed multiple approvals, arranging the finances through a, a complex process of loan uh, uh, approval. We are at the MIDC station of Metro Line 3 and you can see in the visuals that the metro is parked and eight coaches are there of this particular metro. This particular metro will be having 10 stations in total out of which nine will be underground and one will be at grade. This metro line will be covering 12.44 kilometers of distance. Metro Line 3 will also lead to the reduction of vehicular trips by 6.65 lakh per day. So it is beneficial in a way for the people who live here is that the, their daily commute becomes easier. It directly connects them to a, a, like a city like BKC which is, which is a corporate hub I would say. So it, it, uh, and definitely connecting it to, extending it to Kolaba also makes all the commute very easy because there are many people who travel in the crowded local trains which also makes the lifestyle very difficult or very hectic. Uh, it's a very good opportunity hai because uh, there are no alternatives, hai. Uh, roadways etc etc et but there is a lot of traffic and all. So, but uh, metro is a very good opportunity, it can pollution bhi kam ho sakta hai. Aap dur agar jana hai, quickly ja sakte hai. The original deadline for the project was 2016, but due to legal disputes and environmental concerns, the project is expected to be completed in 2024. And if all goes according to plans, construction on Metro Line 3 extension will commence in 2025.
Well, after multiple delays, controversies, and escalated cost, this project is now on the verge of completion. Phase one is 93% completed. Phase two is more than 80% completed. Once it will be fully functional, it will serve 17 lakh passengers on per day basis, which will obviously reduce the burden on the streets of Mumbai. And traffic problem is expected to be solved. This is Srishti Atkare reporting for Times Network with video journalist Rajesh Khadi Mumbai. On that note, it's a wrap on this edition of the Bulletin. For more news and updates, stay tuned to Mirror Now.